What's good, Humble Squad? It's your boy, Humble Ziggy. We back here with another reaction for y'all. And as you see what's behind me, we got another JT music reaction. But it's with the lies of P rap once upon a time. Once time. Once upon a lie, as you see by the title. <laughs> Once Upon a Lie, and it's featuring Andrea Storm Caden. Now, I gotta say, I feel like, if I'm not mistaken, didn't they say that Andrea is now part of the team? Cause I realize, cause they're a team and such. Not because of the whole pronouns thing and such, but they're actually a team of one, there was like one person who's like the producer and the other one who's like the singer and such. So yeah, so before, I'm, Please, for the love of God, people, when I said about that pronoun situation right now, come on now, let's just stay there. That. But I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, they said that Andrea is now a part of them or so. Could be right, could be wrong. All I can say is, with her, ever since she's like been on most, it's basically like this, for the first time that I heard her, to me, right? This is just only me. From the first time I heard her on Fables, like, I think it was the Griffith song from two years ago. On that Hiding in the Dark. Woo! I guarantee, I man, did she ever, did she ever surprise me? But hey, we about to check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on my socials up there, and without further ado, let's get in the video. I've mastered the craft of animation, not the kind you would find on a real Okay, already already with the bars and such. Hold up. One thing I gotta say, with JT music, I would say like when it comes to like the real, like you can say catchy vibe, you know when there's like a vibe song and then there's a, then there's songs that are like, you can say are catchy and witty and such, I would say like it would be JT music, the Sopendium, and then Dan Bull. Can I say rocket? Yeah, rock and rocket music too. That when it comes to those four, they're like what I know, like the like that catchy tune type of nerdcore where it gives you like that. It gives you like that vibe where it's supposed to be like a catchy tune you would play in the back of your head and such, or like for certain things like this, like. The dramatic, there we go, that's why I can put it as the dramatic vibe of Nerdcore. Master the craft and animation. I discarded my heart in artistic pursuit while mm. not reinventing the wheel. Mm. But in turn, revolution makes mm. her revolution as machinations mm. are made real. And as soon as when I said they're like the most, as soon as when I say dramatic, then they're gonna hit me with that this like pop, this like pop 2012 type vibe and such. You cannot tell me this distinct sound. It's basically like this. If you're a music head, you know, way like how I am, you can pertain to which types of music sonically type beats or sound type beats sounds like. This right here, this definitely sounds like a 2012 type vibe and 2012 type pop beat without a shadow of a doubt. You can tell me otherwise. Like, listen to it. Dishonesty is not in my desire. There's a part of me I'm holding. I can't hide. 
And then the bro. So within within like the minute and such, it went from being dramatic, like setting the tone for it, and then came with like that. I'm guessing that's gonna probably be the chorus. Could be wrong. Like that's 2012, like I said, type vibe or 2012, 20. We're basically in the 2010s era where it had that like pop, like that pop type vibe and such to me, right? Just, just to me. And then with the rapping coming in within that one minute, it was already, it's already entertaining as hell. Inside my chrysalis, spread my wings and fly And I'm wide awake, but I'll make the bed I'm gonna lie in mm. Come and take a walk in my skin The covenant is strong, trust me, every tie is mine And I'm blinded, how am I to find a path that's right Just despite my lack of conscience I got Jiminy for guidance, I lied it To be kept in the dark is off a Friday God has got its secrets, left to me for finding Papa's got some baggage, but I'm not his beast of burden I'm fit for kicking ass, but who's giving me my purpose? Listen to your voice, Obey us every command Why well, I feel like that's Kate Why well, I feel like that's Andrea in the background But then again I could be I could be wrong right One thing I always gotta love with JT music Like sonically Their music always give you like a Real good put When it comes to like the production right It's always sonically good that's all I can say. It's just it gives you like that. You always know. You always hear where you say that something is like always like soothing and such. Whenever you hear something or look at something, it gives you like a calming sensation, like this, like it's cool, like it's soothing. JT music is like that for me sometimes. Where it's not now when I want to get lit, when I want to get saucy and such. Hey. I got my Rustage, I got my DPS, I got Fable, Schwabity, all of them, right? I got that type right there. But for once that just sounds so sonically soothing, I could say, it's JT music, it's Rocket music, and in a way it's the Stupendium in those three. For whenever I want to hear like sonically soothing music where even though it's giving you depth about something it's just sonically of how it sounds it's common and i don't know why maybe it's just me maybe it's if you feel that way let me know it's got a secret left to me for finding papa's got some baggage but i'm not his beat sorry that's my game for kicking ass but who's giving me my purpose and obey us every command i'm a can the scent be grown? Then I plant a seed. Mm, okay. Can the scent be grown? Then I plant a seed. Mm. Mm. This Katie. Never be ashamed to shed a tear. It can heal all fear. Your demons are close. And I also gotta say this. I've always known. I always forget to always do this, but big prop. Always shout out to the ladies of Nerdcore, no matter what, cause y'all need to get y'all roses. Cause I be, I be. Look, if you've been on my channel long enough to know that when it comes to the females of Nerdcore, hey. Shout out to Frivolous Shara, shout out to Hala CG, shout out to freaking who is uh I said Hala CG right basically every lady out there, Canela Daya, every lady out there and such Andrea and such shout out to all of y'all cuz hey 
don't shoot me when I say this, y'all, but let's be honest. Even some of y'all can agree when I say that nine times out of ten, the females of Nerdcore be adding in a lot more what are some some of the men, not to say all of them, but some of the men be lacking in. Be real with yourself, and you know it's true. Most of the men in Nerdcore be lacking that special type of it that the ladies be just having with them all the time. And you know what I'm talking about. Hi. Real boy. Now, why does this, the way how this sounds, this definitely giving me like, you can say early Eminem type vibes. That's how it sounds to me. Y'all may be saying, why it does? Because the sound of how it is, I would say it gives me like, of when Eminem came back from like recovery and such, like from his hiatus the first time around when he was on them on them drugs and all that and such and when he came back trying to re be like basically a redemption type vibe and such so this is what it sounds like to me where Eminem is like coming back into his redemption form so y'all can say that's weird of me but hey that's how I look at it now, love the fittest and the streets are running brown. They can call you puppet, but they can never call you a bluff. Mm. Saying that, nigga, y'all can call me what you want and such, but at the end of the day, when it comes to my, whenever I stand on and whatever I talk about. It ain't f it ain't BS. I never call you buff. This is part of my desire. And I like the little piano too in the background too. Gave it like this menacing energy and such. But yeah, sonically, this was sonically pleasing. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, like I said, when it comes down to sound, like beats that be or music that have like it's like sonically soothing how about how i look at it jt i would say like jt music rocket music and the stupendium them three right there are the ones for me when it comes to sonically sounding soothing they do it no matter how it is they just do it for me but hey Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. Like I said before, this has been the JT Music. This has been JT Music's Lies of P Rap. Once Upon a Lie featuring Andrea Storm Caden. She gotta cut off that middle part, that Andrea Storm. Kinda too much of a title. Just say Andrea Andrea Caden. That's how I look at it. But either way, it's been your boy Homer Ziggy signing out. Stay positive, keep the vibes up. I'm out.